IANA decentralized the task of assigning the IP addresses by allocating the large chunk of IP addresses to five regional internet registries which are further responsible to allocate the IP addresses in their zone. These RIRs are APNIC, AFRICNIC, ARIN, LACNIC and RIPENCC. APNIC is responsible for serving the Asia-Pacific region. AFRIC NIC is responsible for serving the African region. ARIN is responsible for serving North America and several Caribbean and North Atlantic Island. LAC NIC is responsible for serving Latin America, Caribbean and RIPE NCC is responsible for serving Europe, Middle East and parts of Central Asia. For licensing and coordination between these five RIRs, there is an organization called Number Resource Organization or NRO. Whenever we browse any website in the internet, we type name something like www.uou.ac.in. We rarely deal with IP addresses like 104.28.2.90, but the fact is, even if we type the IP address in the URL, it will land us to the same web page. The fact is, we are very comfortable using and remembering the names instead of numbers. Moreover, these IP addresses changes over time and some of these sites have multiple IP addresses. Also, the transfer of data over internet is only possible using IP addresses because the routing of the packet of data sent over internet is done using IP address. There is a server called Domain Name System or DNS which takes care of this translation job to simplify and to save us from remembering these changing IP address numbers. Whenever you type an address like www.uou.ac.in, there is a process called DNS name resolution takes place in the background. The computer keeps the track of recently visited sites and locally maintains a database in DNS cache. In case the IP address of the site you have requested for is not found in the DNS cache of your local computer, then the next probable place to find it is DNS server of your internet service provider or ISP. These DNS servers of ISP also maintains the cache of the recently visited pages. Just in case the information is not found here also, the DNS server of the ISP forward the query to the root name servers. The root name servers publish the root zone file to other DNS servers and clients on the internet. The root zone file describes where the authoritative servers of the DNS top level domain or TLD are located. There are currently 13 root name servers which are listed here. These root name servers directs the query to the appropriate top level domain name servers by reading the last part of the URL first. In our example, the URL was www.uou.ac.in. The last part is n. Some of the example of TLD name servers are .com, .biz, .org, .us, .n, etc. These TLD name servers act as a switch board and direct the query to the appropriate authoritative name server maintained by each domain. Authoritative name server maintains DNS record along with other useful information. This address record is returned back to the requesting host computer via name server, ISP DNS server. Intermediary servers keep the record of this IP address in their DNS cache so that if the same request is encountered again, they don't have to go through this process again. If the same URL is requested again, the DNS cache of the local host computer will return the IP address of the URL. Internet, as the name suggests, is a network of networks that is, it is a collection of several small, medium and large networks. This clearly indicates to one fact, nobody is a single owner of the internet and it is one of the proven example of collaborative success. Now you must be surprised how such a large network which is spread across the continents can run without any problem. Yes, it is correct that to monitor such a large network, 
we require an international body which can frame the rules, regulations and protocols to join and use this network. Therefore, an international organization known as the Internet Society was formed in 1992 to take care of such issues. Let us now 